Okay guys, so you want to unlock your T-Mobile Galaxy S4. Okay, it's pretty simple. Uh, I found this on the internet. It's on the uh, XDA uh, developers.com website. It may work for some of you. Others, it may not work. Uh, the phone I did last night, it worked perfectly. But this phone here today, I'm having a little bit of trouble. But in any event, I'll show you. Um, if you want to unlock your T-Mobile phone, go ahead and give this a try. So here, I'll put the uh, website on the bottom of the description. But it's 15 steps. It's quite easy. So first thing you do is uh, get your phone, go to the dialer, and you want to dial this code. You can see on step number one up here, it's um, star pound two seven six six three three six eight. Three seven eight, and then pound. Once you hit pound, this will pop up. Oops. Okay, I hope you got that. My phone was out. Anyways, so you can see step number two it says uh, select uh, UMTS. That's right here, UMTS. Third step is de to click on debug screen is right here. Click on phone control right there. Network lock right there. And then uh, on number six, step number six, it says uh, select PERSA SHA256 off, which is this one here. Now, if you look, uh, it shouldn't say this. Actually, what yours should say is. Um, it should say uh, SHA-256 enable flag and it should be a 1 here not a 0 it should be a 1 and on the bottom it shouldn't say this either it should say uh, the SHA or SHA-256 off equals and it shouldn't say not change it should say SHA-256 on so one side is off the other side should be on anyways uh, I found the workaround for that but anyways if yours says exactly what it's supposed to say then you just proceed and then you would click on uh, number seven, it says uh, click on SHA-256 enabled flag number one. So we'll just pretend that the zero is the number one. You'll click on that, and then this will pop up. Uh, and now see the current command, it should say 116631. You see mine says 116630. I found a way to get it back to 116631, but I'm still having issues. But anyways, if yours says 116631, then you should be good to go. The next thing you would want to do is, uh, it says number 8, select the menu button, which is right here, menu button, and you click back. And then it should show, um, this is correct, it should say enable flag 0, should be 0, and the bottom should say this as well. And that's good. And then you go to number nine and you just click going back 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 so you click on menu back menu back menu back and you want to go all the way right now I'm in the um, debug screen I want to go back to the UMTS screen so one more menu back and then we're at the U, UMTS screen. So now I'm at number number 13 out of 15. Step number 13 out of 15. And it says select number 6, which is common. Number 6. And then... Uh, and then you click on NV Rebuild, which is number 6. And then from here, guys... Um, let me see here. It should say um, golden backup exists. See here, my phone says it does not exist. And what you would do is, uh, if yours does say exist, then you're pretty much good to go. You would just go ahead and hit number four. It says restore backup. And then your phone will shut off. It'll reboot. And then as soon as it pops back on, uh, you can go ahead and pop another SIM in there. Pop a, I popped an AT&T SIM card in there yesterday. And it worked perfect. But again, this is a different uh, T-Mobile phone. I don't know why. 
the T-Mobile phone I did last night, it worked perfectly and unlocked. And then this one here, I'm having uh, an issue. But I'll make another video on how to get around. If you had the same issue I did, it, it doesn't show the um, current command, which over here, guys, it has to be 116631. If it doesn't show that, then uh, you're not going to be able to proceed. But there is a workaround. I found out how to get how to ch change this into 11, 11 66, 31, but it sh when I get to the very end, it still it still shows that the um, it says golden backup does not exist on my phone. Um, so, anyways, uh, hopefully you guys can unlock your uh, T-Mobile phone just by these steps. Um, on this forum too, a lot of people had success using AT&T as well. So, do everything at your own risk. Uh, of course, I'm not liable. Anyways, that's it. Good luck, guys.